Merrick. I work with the University of Florida Marion County Extension Service. So we all want to garden, but we may not all have the space to garden. So what can you do? Today we want to talk to you about alternative places to plant your crops. Here we have a good old usual kiddie pool. This is one example that you can use just as a kiddie pool or a sandbox. Here we planted some edible nasturtium. The whole plant is edible. We have herbs and mint. We're even growing lettuces, which are just about um, done at this time of the year. Now, if you'd like, just get some dirt. You want about six inches, preferably, but at least four inches of soil. So if you go ahead and plant right into your kiddie pool. Now, preferably, if you had some holes in the bottom for drainage, that would be best. Otherwise, make sure you don't overwater your plants. Otherwise, you also have a large flower pot as well. Here we have some strawberry transplants that we're going to put into our flower pot. Full sun. You want to put both of these in full sun. Again, making sure you're not over watering, which is easy to do in a pot. If a good way to tell if it's dry or not is if you stick your finger up until your knuckle, if the soil is dry, it's telling you it's about time to water. So that's a good um, way to measure if it's time to water or not. And then of course, I'm going to add some mint to our flower pot as well. So here's two examples of alternatives to plant if you don't have a large garden or space.